Wouldn't it be helpful for you to know what a four means when it's labeled waterproof? In this video, we're going to explore the differences between waterproof and water resistant flooring materials so that you can know where to put them in your home and where you should do some more research. So let's roll up our sleeves and have some fun because we're going to dive in. Hello, my name is Vinny Verga Jr. And this is Rob Lewis, our content writer, who's going to be helping with our demonstrations today. So we're going to start off with water resistant products. We're going to take a look at what water resistance actually means and then demonstrate it with some products. All right, so this is a luxury vinyl plank that we have as a closeout product at our store. It has a plastic back, but very thin click locks. So the top does a good job at resisting water. But as soon as that spill starts going uh, in between the cracks, the water could stay there and cause damage underneath the boards. So a good place to have this product would be in a basement because they see a lot of moisture to begin with. And having a product like this would allow the moisture that might get underneath the boards to breathe out and kind of air itself out. Another good place might be bedrooms that don't see a lot of moisture to begin with. All right, so here we have luxury vinyl tile. When it comes to this product, this side is waterproof, this side is waterproof, but the core isn't. So when you lay the tile down uh, via adhesive, they glue it down to the floors. Um, you could opt to just glue the tiles together. And if that's the case, moisture could still get into the tiny little cracks. And if uh, the adhesive underneath the tile is exposed to that moisture long enough, uh, the adhesive could wear, causing the tiles to, you know, the glue to weaken and the tiles might start moving around, or um, it would create this suction effect, making it very difficult to remove the tiles when the time comes. The other option is to apply grout to make it look like uh, a tile of, of the floor is natural stone or porcelain tile, um, but the grout that you apply is not waterproof either. Um, it's very porous, which means that if, ex if it's exposed to moisture long enough, um, it could wear away and get damaged over time. All right, so here we have an Anso Living Waterproof Carpet by Shaw. Now the thing about this carpet, it has a film on the back like a pool liner, so that way if moisture were to get to the top, it wouldn't get, go through to the pad at the bottom. It protects the padding of the carpet underneath it. Um, but if moisture did get on the top, let's say you spilled some water on it, what it would do is it does a really good job of making it bead up there. And you would have to put a, um, an absorbent powder and wait for that to absorb and then vacuum it up. That's how you would clean up the spill. If you were to blot it or try to rub it out, the moisture would get absorbed into the fibers, which could cause some mold or mildew later down the line if it were to stay there like that. Be sure to check out part two of our waterproof versus water resistant series. And while you're here, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more.